I walk back. Let's wait till I'll do this. Last time. We lost to Isle. Yeah, he's gone. And Meowth's not returned. Lovely. Just lovely. I wanna... Why did it need to go and read the planet score? Because Hannes' parents were being held hostage, or... He was quite intelligent. He knew we were trying to rescue him, so he may have chosen his own death. In order to remove the miasma from Tia's body. If Tia knew that. I think she knows. Just looking depressed ever since we got back. Just like that is. Why on? Why don't you just go and throw your life away? You idiot. Aww. And they couldn't stop him. Luke, you're blaming the wrong person. It was a mouth. See you for Sion to make that choice. Yeah. Both you're gonna pay for this. You're gonna pay. Oh so sad. So, we were checking the score, but now we have to rely on the score Ion Retus. Ion said to treat the score as one possibility out of many. We aren't being forced so bad. True, we are making our own decision. He wants it to be used for the future of the world. Not as an unbreakable rule, but as a guide to make your decision. Making decisions. Ion's score is always accurate. Luke, are you saying you don't trust it? Or you don't want to trust it? No, I'm not. I know it's accurate. That's why I'm following it. But if this does succeed, you may be tempted to follow the score again in the future, right? How long can we go on saying just this once, just this once, before it becomes a habit? So you're going to ignore Ion's score? Please, you can't do that. I won't. I'm just frustrated with this gap between ideals and reality. Yetta was truly fond of Aya, wasn't she? As was Annis. 
But the two of them were thinking of different ions. I am most replica after all. The ion I already liked is long gone. How sad. But those misunderstandings have led to do. The same thing could have been happened with Luke and Ash. Italian tear. Yeah, it could have. I know it is my doing, but pharmacy truly is an unethical technology. Hmm. One thing I will say though, the original Ion, whose name is Evanos, he was actually kind of a jerk. <laughs> like if you look at the war, Evanos was a jerk. He treated Ariana like a dog, and I'm serious. He was not nice to Ariana at all. And Arietta, yeah, she was in love with him. And she never knew that he died, and he was replaced with Ion. It's pretty harsh, you know. Yeah, here's another book commission. And how's Luke gonna get this money? We could use our own money, but I'm not doing that. We're gonna go mooch off Luke's mother. Luke. Lucky for you, you won't know. Mother, today I am going to cook you a healthy meal. Sheesh, Luke. Big brat. <laughs> Why, what's happened, Luke? What's going on that into you? I am totally not up to something. Yeah, and Luke's never cooked, if you recall. What do you think, Mother? Mother. Oh, yes, um, it's a very unique taste. It shows your personality. That means it's bad. Not at all. But perhaps you may want to learn a greater variety of techniques. I'm sorry. My there's no need to apologize. I know, let me give you some money to fund your studies. <laughs> I mean, I would take it. Look, how could you accept that? Uh, okay, okay. Though I can't accept this money. Not as much. I understand, but please take this much. If you give us the exact amount, eighty thousand. Yeah. Goodness. Please cook another delicious meal for me this time. Thank you, mother. Golly. Believe it or not, there's gonna be a lot of cyclists this time. There may be just uh, tossing in of some lovely, lovely 
Story stuff. But maybe not too. But maybe so. Yeah, let's just see. Oh man. Bissy. Yes, I called it a bissy. I should have recorded some gameplay further in the future. Yeah, I'm several episodes ahead of this part. Am I at the end game yet? Not yet. But I am a good chunk through Act 3, though. In this game. Side quest included. And Natalia's gonna get a new skill. It's very interesting, because her teacher... He was blinded during a battle. By Jade, actually. Yeah, Jade blinded her teacher. <laughs> you can tell Jade's there. her. Traveling with Natalia, eating her chips. It's awesome. <laughs> Am I kidding? No. Jade's eating her. She's eating Jade's. It's always Jade's. Not Natalia's. She can walk her happy self away from his chips. I know. That was pretty dumb. Hey, it's not that big a deal. I'm saying the future to call the end's finally gonna be dealt with. Not completely, not every party member, but I did get something special though. Or one of the party members that I mentioned. So look at that, there is a costume you could get in the Coliseum. Oh, I got it. Bad. So long. Natalia's gonna get a skill called Healing Force. It sounds like a really, really good ability. It heals party members around her. And on paper, it sounds really good. Like, a, oh, at a week, could it heal all party members? No. They heal for a huge chunk of HP. If they're up next to her in combat. Remember, this game is action combat. And your character person, your party members, are going to be AI controlled. And even if you control Natalia, you just hope they don't run away. <laughs> because it's range for healing force, even though it heals for a lot. He's really close to your party members in order to heal a good bit of HP. It's kind of like Regal Sealer. It's not good. It's not that good. 
There's something that looks good on paper, though. But I wouldn't rely on it. Rely on tears. Trust me. That would be for the best. Yeah, we got a bit of lore too between Jade and this guy. It's just cool. There's a lot of fun side quest stuff you could do. No, we're we'll talking to this guy. He's gonna give us something nice. Oh, not nice. Can still give us something that can destroy the world. How classy. Yeah, if you remember, this is the guy that we helped free. We got the king's portrait from. If you remember him. They actually give us Armageddon. How nice of them, you know? It would likely take us to Mount Zaleo immediately. Which they cut us.
It'll work as a nice song to it, honestly. I don't know how long I could go with a par, honestly. I feel like it'd be kind of hard. <laughs> I don't know if I should try to record like a massively long video at some point. Oh, well, I don't know if I trust the recording software I use for this game. I'm not using OBS, even though I should use OBS, honestly. I mean, I do use OBS for most games, but OBS causes a lot of lag because it uses all the lot. Of computer stuff. And PS2 X2 also used by that, so. Yeah. Although for my XLP, I will be using OBS again. 100%. This <sighs> seems to be fine with the PS1 emulator. I can't wait for that. That's gonna be fun. Oh man, that was a lamp. Luckily it didn't just cause some volcano to blow up. <laughs> oh, these guys. They're geniuses. Yeah, there is a Namco Bandai town here in this game. Just like in Vesperia and Symphonia. And maybe others, I don't know. I think it's a funny way I started it, because that's where Cat started. Isn't that one of those high density phonon things? Finally. Talking. Is it that obvious? Luke, you really should just get used to the Colonel's jabs. That's harsh. <laughs> Right? 
I would suppose so. What? And here I was getting all it. Meow. I guess the sh But it's not like anyone told us the limit is three, right? Go give it a try. You have a point. Let's at least try and see what happens. Did it work? I don't think so. Hmm. Would you show me the sorcerer's ring for a moment? Looks like there's been a minor addition to the leftmost verse. The end of the verse was previously illegible from being worn away. Mm -hmm. Looks like it went a little farther. No, it's <laughs> not like that. Is this all right? Sure. The phone verse has been repaired, and the ring has its original power back. The next part's favorite tutorial. I kind of skip a little bit of dialogue, but Luke gets mad at me for the first time in a while. Like, I've been disappointed with you in a long time. Coming up, it's kind of funny. This annoyed at you in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. 
What is a bow doing in this abandoned factory? I can hear phonon interference. Wow! So this is one of the catalysts? What? This used to be a weapon factory. They might have used this in developing new weapons. Mm. But since they left it here, there's no problem with us taking it, right? Sounds fine to me. This place probably belonged to the royal family anyway. Then let's take it with us. Oh. Yeah, it's an annoying old thing. Give it another catalyst weapon. I almost said celestial weapon. It's not a celestial weapon. Goodness. Hey, it's just annoying puzzle over here. This is, well, we're going to get the next light soon. Upgrade. And a very interesting thing about this part coming up. In this area, actually. And I'm reminded. You're going to find quite interesting. I'll have to make sure you understand what's coming up. After these all are aimed properly, I dealt with. Good grief. We get so close. Yay! There we go. That's good. All right, now to do our destiny. Don't walk all the way back. It's really annoying to go back and forth with this dungeon. Go there. Here we go. I like this area so much. There's a really cool Easter egg here, actually, on the Renil map here. Not only is this a good area to grind, to get galled and all that, it's also where Catalyst weapons are going to end. And there's a cool Easter egg here. Now, if you played Symphonia, you might recognize the monster models that are going to show up here. They're not the typical Abyss models for enemies. So, gonna enjoy it. Because if we walk around a bit, we could run to little suckers. Come here. Eventually, they'll show. There it is. Now you might recognize them. I'm also going to show you a little uh, blast from the past as well on the screen. To show you what I mean. Yeah, they're the same enemy models from Tilda Symphonia. Because as you can see, from Symphonia, they're the exact same enemy models. Which I think is freaking cool. I didn't really appreciate it when I first played Abyss, because I didn't really play Symphonia at the time. But it's it's cool. It's a nice Easter egg. They didn't have to do that. They could have just had the normal Abyss, you know, enemy sprites, but... Nah, inside to go the extra mile. 
It has a one some symphonia, so that's cool. Uh, same enemy models. And they're really powerful and good to grind against. So enjoy that. And yes. Genus and Luke have the same outfit. Oh god. What have I done? That's pure evil. Don't worry, the symphony thing's gonna go away. Yes. Yes. We're presently borrowing because <laughs> we need it for something. Indeed. Incidentally, it seems that this sword was one of a pair. Oh. That would be blood pain. What a pain. The blood. I've left it to my son now. What do you want? Apparently, it's needed for some big planetary fun. You know, if they remaster Abyss and give him legacy costumes, since Lloyd got Guy's outfit in Symphonia, I think it's only fair for Guy to return a favor and steal Lloyd's outfit. I think that'd be fun. <laughs> now we can have outfit section. Yes, it was horrible. She destroyed an entire company all by herself. Oh, wow. It was a small company, granted, but still. Yeah, that's a lot. An entire company destroyed? Yep. Seems like it. That sounds like a demon. Still pretty badass, though. The fact that this old guy here was able to seal away that boss. By himself, mind you. So By himself. That's confidential, you fool. What do you think would happen if someone, in any case, uh, his grandson or his son is in the end? I'll talk to him later. <laughs> Get away, darn minute. But, honestly, that's about it. There's not really much left the episode. Next time, we'll continue with some shenanigans. Thanks for watching. See you around!